वेलकम स्टूडेंट टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास नाइन वी आर गोइंग टू डू द चैप्टर नंबर वन नंबर सिस्टम एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नाउ द सेशन नंबर टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर द सेशन नंबर वन इन विच वी हैव डन द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इन सेकेंड विल मूव अ हेड विद द चैप्टर नंबर सिस्टम माई सर दीपक गौतम सी जी डी मैथमेटिक्स इन केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट आर टूडे सेशन We are doing a chapter number one, number system. This chapter is divided into six parts, which are written here. We have already covered introduction part in in session one. I hope you have watched that video. Today we are going to start the sec topic second, which is irrational numbers. So let's first see the definition of the irrational number. It is a number is called irrational. If it can not be written in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero, so simply a rational number is a number which cannot be written in the form of a p by q, where p and q are integer and q is is not equal to zero. While in previous class we discussed the rational number, rational numbers are the number which can be written in the p by q form. Only difference is rational numbers can be written in the p by q form, while irrational numbers cannot be written in the form of p by q. In both case, p and q are the integers, and q is not equal to zero. For example, numbers like root three, sorry, root two, root three, root seven, pi, and the numbers like zero point one zero one one zero. One 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 zero, one 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 zero, and so on. So this is a number which is non-terminating and non-repeating. So all the root values of so like root two, root three, root seven, and the numbers like pi and the no non-terminating and non-recurring numbers are the example of irrational number. There is a property of of irrational number that square root of all Of every prime number is irrational number. Like you can see here, root two, two is a prime number. The root of two is also a irrational number. Root next prime number is three, so the root of three is a irrational number. Similarly, next ir prime number is five, and the root of five is a irrational number. And so on. It's true for all the prime numbers. Okay. Then we have real numbers. Real numbers are if we take the collection of all the rational numbers and irrational numbers. They collectively call the real numbers. We can represent them on the number line like this. We have this number line. This number number one, two, three, and so on. These numbers are the natural number. Along with zero, they become whole number, and where we include the these negative integers. Negative of the natural number, they collectively called integers, and also we have number like this one by two. One by two is a irrational number. Also minus one by three is sorry. One by two is a rational number. Also one by minus one by three is rational number. While the numbers like root two, exponent numbers, and pi these are irrational numbers, but they also have their location on the number line. That's why it says. Every real number is rep represented by unique point on the number line, or you can say every point on real line represent a unique real number. So whenever you locate a point on the number line, there is a number representing that point, or whenever you have a number, there is a point representing representing that point on the number line. That's why we call a number line the real number line. I hope it is clear that real number is the collection of both rational and irrational numbers, and we can represent all the numbers on the number line, whether it's a rational number or irrational number. Each number have their location on the number line. Okay, we'll understand this better with the help of some topic. That is our next topic is representing representation of irrational number on the number line. Representation of irrational number on the number line. In pre previous class, we have done the representation of rational number on the number line. In here, in class nine, you will study about the representation of irrational number on the number line. We will understand this with the help of an example, which is example number three of your NCERT textbook. 
क्वेश्चन योर इज लोकेट रूट टू ऑन द नंबर लाइन एज वी ऑल नो दैट रूट टू इज अ इ रैशनल नंबर सो नंबर गिवन टू अस योर इज रूट टू विच इज अ रूट टू इज अ इ रैशनल नंबर now in order to represent this number on number line first we have, we see that the value of root 2 is equals to 1.4142 and so on and this number is a non terminating number we don't have any exact value of root 2 so it's very difficult to represent this number directly on the number line so we have a method to locate the location of the root 2 on the number line which is first take this number which is 2 here we'll write this number as the sum of the two perfect square number like in this case 1 can be written as sorry 2 can be written as 1 plus 1 1 and One is a perfect square number. If we find the root of this number like this, root two equals to root one plus root one. We know that value of root one is one. Also, value of root one again is one. So one plus one. So we can represent root two with the help of one plus one. Now let's see how we can represent this. first we'll draw a number line mark 0 here and we have 1 2 3 and so on now to represent first number will be represent on the number line this first number on this number line and then the second one will draw that this number perpendicularly on the number line Let's choose. Let's choose a different color. First, we'll represent this part. We have one, so we'll start from zero and draw a line till one. Then, second number is represented at this point perpendicularly, like this. So we have one unit here and one unit here. Now we'll join these two points. So we got a right angle triangle, which is right angle. at this point let's name this triangle as o a b okay we have drawn one unit here one unit on the inside we have named this triangle o a b and which is a right angle triangle now we can apply the pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle so using pythagoras theorem in triangle a o b the pythagoras theorem says the square of hypotenuse which is o a in this case is equals to the sum of the square of base plus base and perpendicular base here is o b and perpendicular is a b this is what the pythagoras theorem say which, which says the square of hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the square of base and perpendicular so we need to find this ao square first write this ao square ob in this case is 1 so we'll write at the place of ob 1 square plus and at ab is also 1 so at the place of ab we will write 1 we know 1 square is 1 plus 1 square is 1 so oa square is equals to 1 plus 1 or you can say 1 plus 1 2 will be so 1 plus 1 will be 2 or oa will be when you remove this square it will be gives us square root here so oa is equals to root 2 which is here oa is equals to root 2 so this is the distance of root 2 now what we have to do Now we'll use the compass here. 
इन योर कंपास फिक्स अ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ओ टू ए पुट द नीडल ऑफ द कंपास एट पॉइंट ओ एंड फ्रॉम ए मार्क एन आर्क ऑन द डाउनवर्ड साइड लाइक दिस द पॉइंट वेयर दिस आर्क कट दिस नंबर लाइन दैट विल बी द लोकेशन ऑफ द पॉइंट रूट टू ऑन द नंबर लाइन लेट्स नेम दिस पॉइंट एस पी सो हेंस ओ पी इज इक्वल्स टू रूट टू दिस इज हाउ वी रिप्रेजेंट अम्बर ऑन द नंबर लाइन I hope it is clear to you. Now we can understand this better with the help of another example, which is example number three of your NCERT textbook. Now we are asked to locate root three on the number line. The number given to us here is root three, and we know this root three is a irrational number. The actual value of root three is one point seven three two and so on. Again, it's a non non terminating number. Again, it's a non terminating number. So, in order to represent this, we can write this number as the sum of the two number two. Plus one. So if you find the root of this number, it will be root three equals to root two plus root one. So root two will be as it is, and value of root one will be one. So we can represent this root three with the help of the two number root two and root one. Sorry, one. Let's see how we gonna do this. First, again draw a number line. Mark zero here. Then we have one, two, three, and four. Okay. Again, on the base we have root two. Can we represent root two on number line? Answer is no. we can that can now directly locate its value on the number line so first we have to follow the process like we did in this example number 3 to locate the value of root 2 this here so first we will locate the root 2 here for root 2 the values were 1 and 1 so first we will represent the, these values start from here one here one on this side Both should be one and one. Join this point. Let's name it O, A, B. Then this will be. Then this will be root two here. Okay. Again, using compass. Put the needle of compass at point O. Open it till point A and mark an arc like this. at the point where it cuts the number line that will be the location of root 2 this is root 2 here now we extend this line now we'll come to this part so first on the base we will take the values from 0 to root 2 then on per perpendicularly we'll draw one unit like this now join this point o to this point let's 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 name them i know don't know what's happening okay let's name it c here and d here it's again a right angle triangle We'll apply the Pythagoras theorem again here, using Pythagoras theorem. In triangle, 
COD. Again, Pythagoras theorem says the square of hypotenuse, which is OC, will be equal to the sum of the square of base and perpendicular. Base in this case is OD and perpendicular is OC. We are trying to calculate the value of OC. So OD here is root 2 and OC is 1. Root 2 square will be 2 and 1 square will be 1. So this will be equals to 3. Hence OC will be equals to root 3. When you remove this root, this will, when you remove this square power, you will get the square root here. So OC is representing the value root 3. This OC is equals to root 3. Now again what we are going to do is take out the compass, put the needle of the compass at point O, open it till point C and mark an arc like this. The point where it cuts the number line that will be the location of root 3. Let's name it point Q. Hence OQ is equals to root 3. I hope the both examples are clear to now. Clear to you now. This is the location representation of root 2 and here we have done the look represent location of the root 3 on the number line. Now let's begin with the exercise 2.1 of your NCRT textbook. Here the first question is state whether the following statement are true or false. Justify your answer. First one is every rest every a rational number is a real number. The answer for this one is answer for this one is true because real numbers are the collection of of rational numbers and irrational numbers okay the first part was every irrational number is a real number so answer for this one is yes because real numbers real numbers include both rational and irrational that that's why all irrational numbers are the part of real number second is every point on number line is of the form root m where m is a natural number that means every point on the number line is a root of a number m where m is a natural number answer for this one is This one is false because negative numbers negative numbers are sorry negative numbers cannot be the square root of any number of any natural number answer for second one is false because the negative number cannot be the square root of any natural number so if you find any square root of any natural number you will not get a negative number that is if you find a square of 4 you will get plus 2 if you find a square of 9 you will get plus 3 you will not get a negative numbers now part 3 this one every real number is a irrational number every it's asking you every year every real number is a irrational number answer for this one is 
false this is the converse of the first part in first part say every rational number is a real number which is true but every real number is not a irrational number because real number include both rational and irrational number so some real number will be rational and while other will be irrational so answer for this one is false because real numbers includes both rational numbers and irrational numbers okay that's why this one is false now question number two are the square root of all positive integer irrational if not give an example of the square root it's asking that if you find the square root of positive number with is it a irrational number if not give example so answer for this one is no because real number because you can see that numbers like 4 which is a positive integer you are asked that positive integer ka karam root find kare to wo irrational aega. but in this case this 4 is a positive integer if you find its square root that will be 2 and 2 is a rational number not irrational similarly if you find the square root of positive integer 9 that will be 3 again which is a rational number similarly if you find the square root of a number 4 sorry 16 it will be equals to 4 which is again a rational number not irrational number so the answer for this one was is you are asked are the square root of all positive integer irrational so answer this for this one is no because the number like 4 9 16 25 36 that is all the perfect square number if you find their square you will get the rational number not irrational okay now the third question is show how root 5 can be represented on the number line now we have asked to represent root 5 on the number line we will represent them in a similar process like we did in example number 3 and example number 4 so let's start this answer number 3 here we have to represent root 5 on the number line we can write root 5 as first we can write 5 as the sum of 4 plus 1 if you find the root of all number that will be root 5 equals to root 4 plus equals to root 1 so we know root 4 is equals to 2 and root 1 is equals to 1 so we can represent root 5 with the help of 2 and 1 we represent this number on the number line and this number perpendicularly so first draw a number line like we did in example number 3 and 4 this is a number line mark the point 0 1 2 3 so on for number line we represent this number 2 let's draw a line till number 2 okay then we represent this one which we should be perpendicularly so here we have two units and here we have one unit join these points okay let's name it o a and b which is a right triangle again we apply the pythagoras theorem in this using pythagoras theorem
इन ट्राइंगल ए ओ पी इट से द स्क्वायर ऑफ हाइपोटेनियस विच इज ओ ए विल बी इक्वल टू दी सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ बेस एंड परपेंडिकुलर इन दिस केस बेस इज टू यूनिट एंड परपेंडिकुलर इज वन यूनिट टू स्क्वायर इज फोर एंड वन स्क्वायर इज वन सो दिस विल बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव दैट इज ओ ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव और ओ ए विल बी इक्वल्स टू रूट फाइव दैट मीन्स दिस डिस्टेंस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग रूट फाइव अगेन वट वी हैव टू डू इज टेक आउट ए कम्पास पुट द नीडल ऑफ कम्पास एट ओ ओपन इन टिल पॉइंट ए एंड देन मार्क एन आर्क इन सच ए वेदर इट शूड कट द आउट बेस लाइन लाइक दिस द पॉइंट वेयर इट कट्स द बेस लाइन दैट विल बी द लोकेशन ऑफ नंबर रूट फाइव हेंस Let's name it uh, D. Hence, O D is equals to root five. That's how we represent this irrational number on the number line. I hope now it's clear to you all. We have represented root two, root three, and root five. Now the last question of the exercise. which is a classroom activity question is classroom activity construct a square root spiral like it's given it's it's given in here in order to do this what we going to do is it's a classroom activity question question number 4 we have to make a square root spiral to make the square root spiral first row a number line mark the numbers here 0 1 2 3 4 first we'll will represent the root 2 here like we did in example number 3 for root 2 draw one unit here one unit perpendicularly join them okay this will be the root 2 for root 3 we need root 2 plus 1 okay so root 2 we already have here we'll draw one unit perpendicularly at this point and join this then this distance will represent root 3 okay now we have next number again row one unit here and join it here this will give us root 4 root 4 will be equals to root 3 plus 1 okay so this will be root 4 similarly now again extend it one unit perpendicularly like this join this point baseline here is 4 here is 1 so this will give us root 5 which is root 4 and root 1 so this will be root 5 and so on you can go and complete this in similar way like this this will become a square root this will call a square root spiral so that's the end of the exercise 1.2 we have covered all the question of exercise 1.2 all four i hope it's clear to you now